Hello everybody, I'm Ian Gibson. Welcome back. Uh, it's been a while since we streamed. I'm sorry we didn't have a stream Saturday night for you. Uh, we were just too busy. Uh, Dude, I was you make that joke every things. time. What joke? And then I have to think about it. What joke? Oh, shut up, I hate you. You're I the like, worst today. <laughs> I like how you're... I don't understand how... how <laughs> I don't understand how you can still be blowing out your mic. I don't understand it, Will. I'm not blowing out my mic. <laughs> you are you're blown out your mic. I gotta turn you down in OBS. That's how it's bad it's not it is. my fault. It's just the way it's coming through. No, it's definitely because I can hear your mic peaking. Anyways, I should probably turn the chat on so people can join me in mocking you. Uh folks, I'm back. Uh it's a busy Saturday night. Thanks for uh streaming, Will. We've got some exciting content for you tonight. We're going to be playing Hard Space Ship Breaker, which is a game by a developer that I forgot to look up. Um, I believe it's the same developer that did Homeworld. Do you remember the name of that Homeworld RTS game that came out? Uh, sure. It's called like I don't even I don't even think it had Homeworld in the title. Anyways, Homeworld. I believe it's the same developers as that. Let's go ahead and kick it over to the game, and let's show uh, somebody's face. Hi, face hole. Man, um, I, this, I hate OBS Ninja because I can't edit the camera. It's very annoying. Yep, okay. That's, uh, that's right. So what it I keeps turning on low light compensation and it looks gross. Well, I think I you can, it. if you have the Logitech software on your computer, you can open it and edit it through that. Yeah. I don't know. It just like resets it all. Anyways, sorry. You can continue. I mean, you can live edit it right now. Anyways, this is Hard Space Shipbreaker. Um, let's just go ahead and get in here. Let me, first of all, let me turn the, uh, the audio up. And let me turn voice meter audio up. I think we should be okay. Maybe. Did I do everything right? Oh, that's weird. I did not do everything right. I turned on the Logitech capture and it changed the settings as it loaded. Oh, yeah, it looks stupid Logitech. That white balance looks way off now. <laughs> well, yeah, cuz it turns off the the auto exposure. So anyways, um this is uh Long story short is in this game you play a um, you play a uh, is there a word for it? Uh, uh, yeah, I can't. Um, Scrapper. Gosh, it, it, is it shipbreaker? I think is the word. But I think it's a fake. Actually, you should look that up. Is that a real word or is that no? Because ship breaking game? is the is the thing you do to ships. Like oh, real? That's a yeah. real term. Yeah, so I guess your ship shipbreaking simulator is the other non-spaced yeah. one. So basically, yeah, um, but... you are taking these spaceships and you are salvaging them. Um, and you know what? Let's just get in here. I think that's the easiest way to show it. So I, I played a decent amount of this game. It's actually a nice little. I've stop. seen you play it a lot. So let's just. That's the training one. Actually, yeah, let's do the training one. I don't, it shouldn't do the training scenario. If it does, I'll quit out. But um, I just want to show you an easy little ship. And then after this, we can just do a, a big guy, a goober. So basically, you have two tools big that you're, oh my goodness. Okay. Guess what, folks? This game is in early access. It's weird. It's, it feels like it has it feels like it's much more polished than a normal early access game but it's also short on content and it's terribly optimized it's running at about 15 frames per second at 1080p at low texture quality so let's go down to 720p nice nice i'm gonna go to 720 60. oh nope still Still hitching a lot. Anyways, um, so basically what you do is if you look at an object, like, for example, this antenna, mm -hmm. at the bottom it says barge. So there's three places you're going to put the items. Barge. Oh, Jesus. Processor. Processor is blue. And the furnace, which is red. So I'm going to look at this guy. 
Hi, Barge. Put it down here. You can press and hold the F button to, like, throw it. So you basically have this grapple. You also have tethers. You have a limited number of tethers. You can see it in my top left. Tethers are, like, more powerful grapple things that allow you to connect two things together. So, for example, this is supposed to go in the barge. So I'm going to click and drag a tether. Oh, my God. Put it down here. Oh. And, uh... Bye-bye. Bye. Um... You also have a cutter, which lets you cut things, but first we have to get inside the ship because right now I can't cut anything. Salvage secured. Account credit. I really like this game's aesthetic, but uh, it does numbers for the compression here. Airlock yes. The so, like fake uh, bad camera. Yeah. And the HUD does some great stuff, like as you get. If you start taking damage, the HUD... I had a situation where the HUD went all the way in the bottom left and was glitching. Oh, so it was great. Oh, that's cool. All right, so basically I have... I'm going to depressurize this. If you don't depressurize this, you know, it'll blow stuff around and damage you. There's fuel tanks that you can mess up. Ba-boom. Okay, so I can see in the bottom right it says unpressurized. So now it's... Oh, so now you can... Yeah. Yeah. So I want to show you some cuts. So this is the tool. So you can do, for example, let's say this roof section. Um, I can just cut these two cut points here. One. Get the other one. Two. And now, because it's blue outline, it's loose from the ship. Oh. So now I can just do a quick tether over to the processor. The and processor. It's, it's going to yank it over there. Gotcha. That's neato. Uh, and I'll show you the other type of cutter. But first, I'm going to make sure there's no fuel tank behind here. So this is like a scanning view. So I get to see Ooh. there's actually You're no... You're like part of the TSA. Yeah. And you can do different <gasps> systems. So that's the nacelle over there. Is that how you pronounce it? Nacelle? Uh, yes, nacelle. Um, so there's oh, no fuel tank in here. Track. Oh, this looks... <laughs> so as you can see, that bin is empty back here because there's basically an interior scan and then an exterior scan. So I'm gotcha. just going to cut a hole through here to get to this crawl space so I can do... When you when you change modes, it destroys Parsec. <laughs> oh, I bet. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. Oh, so you can just randomly cut random stuff. Yes. Um, gotcha. It's not always optimal because, like you're creating smaller parts when you don't necessarily have to. The, the ship is almost like a puzzle in terms of taking things apart optimally. Mm -mm. Um, and not everything you can cut. Like, for example, um, that stuff I can't cut right there. Gotcha. But these aluminum panels I can. But see, now I'm in the crawl space. So I could basically dismantle this entire ship, but really what I have on the top right is the work order. And that's telling mm -hmm. you what you need to do. So um, just a caveat, I do have this on, I don't want to call it easy mode. I forget what they call it, but basically normally the game has oxygen that depletes, fuel that depletes, your health is at risk, you have a, a limited number of tethers before you have to buy more, and you have a work order, which are things you need to get done, and you also have a time limit per shift. And you can take multiple ships to complete the work orders, but the shift, every time you end a shift, you pay a certain amount in like rental fees and like oxygen fees for the day so basically it just doesn't really make a lot of sense for you to spread it out over multiple ships if you don't have to because i think it's like six hundred thousand dollars in credits that you have to pay per day to, to run a shift oh wow um but and you see under the work orders it says lt80 lt46 that's like your experience point so that's how you can upgrade your equipment um so basically, you could come in here and just do the work orders, which is the reactor, the nanocarbon, which is the exterior skin here, or the and, and salvage the metal. But I, I like to view it almost as a puzzle where I'm just trying to salvage the entire ship down gotcha. to the bones. And you do get you get more money for that. And there are certain you there's two things to level up. There's well actually to level up they they give you these goals. 
So you can see right now it's not just work order objectives. It's not just total amount of aluminum or nanocarbon. It's also total amount of credits that you've salvaged so far. Mm -hmm. And um, when you level up, you get access to more upgrades that you can do. Um, gotcha. So, and it's also just kind of relaxing to come in and play this game. You're listening to a podcast. You've got some time on your hands. You just come in and you just like strip a ship because it's like a puzzle. Like it took me a while to figure out the best way to strip the ship because you could cut through a lot of stuff, but it's not as optimal. But now I know I come in, it's like, boom, get through the, it's like cut off the nacelles, quit, uh, get through the airlock, depressurize, rip all these roof and flooring panels off. And then I can pull the reactor out and then I can uh, melt or cut through one of these panels, get in the crawl space. I cut all of these connectors here and above and the outer skin comes off. Mm -hmm. So it's like, and then the this entire interior area I can leave intact because it's all furnace. So I can just throw all of that in the furnace. Um, so it's pretty cool. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's uh, it's a little limited. There's basically only two ship types that look basically identically. It's just the um, the amount of stuff they have inside. Like for example, I've been in ones of these that have a whole bunch of fuel canisters in here, or they have. A whole bunch of seats in here mm -hmm. but that's i don't want to say that's it but that's kind of it and there's another ship so there's really only two ship types in the game right now which sucks yeah um, yeah that's kind of why i've been holding off getting it because i know it's still in early access yeah it's in early access it's 30 dollars right now it is it's not worth 30 dollars um yeah. you can also damage yourself so for example i'm going to damage myself here if i I don't want to line myself up. So, like, this is my force push. So, if I run this... Actually, it's not quite working. But you can accidentally push yourself into stuff and damage yourself. If I pull this reactor... And I don't salvage it within a certain amount of time... It's going to blow the ship. So, <gasps> let's, let's just blow the ship right here. Oh, I wish I could slice it up like pepperoni. It's funny because it's... It kind of gives you that. There was a giant ship that I was working on yesterday, and I just got frustrated with it after I accidentally blew the reactor. So I just started slicing it into, like, chunks the size of this entire ship, and I spent, like, 15 <laughs> minutes tethering it to the furnace and just slowly carrying it over. Because the tethers have That's a limited scary. time span as well. They only last, mm -hmm. like, 30 seconds to a minute, depending on your upgrades. So you can tether it, and it'll move slowly, but then eventually it'll expire. Break. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Uh-oh. Oh, what's that? Oh! Oh! oh. <gasps> Pretty! Yeah, so that's me not salvaging the reactor in time. Um, so guess what, Will? What? This game is early access, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I was, a, I was on the fence in recommending it. It's 100% no for me right now. I have an i7. I have 48 gigs of RAM. I have a GTX 1080, and it's it's stuttering so badly right now. We have to switch games. I cannot <laughs> play this game. It's I was wondering because that badly. It's that bad. I've been watching uh, Vinny play it, and it's been super smooth for him. So when you said you were having trouble, I wonder if he's encountered any of that. Well, isn't he running 1680 by 1050? Isn't that his monitor size? Um, I don't actually know. I feel like he's ta he's talked about how he's had the same monitor for twelve years or something like that. Oh, that's Brad. No, I think it's I think it's Vinny as well. But anyways, oh, really? Um, yeah, I've been running it at 1080, which works fine when it's by itself. But I guess Parsec mm -hmm. plus streaming, even dropping it down that's to 720, great. this game is not is not well optimized. So let's I'm gonna cut over to the camera. Uh -oh. Hi. Actually, you know what? Let's go back to the the game duo. I'll just I'll just kill the game capture and uh, I'm gonna dig through my Steam library see what else we can play. Yeah, sorry folks, but we're gonna I've got plenty of games installed. The, but this is okay, it's just Zach. Is this the, the first? Troll. Is this the first time we've had to abandon a game midstream because of performance issues? Other than GTA. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. Which destroyed everything it touched. Oh, it definitely did. Okay, so let me... Um... Okay, let's see. What do Big I old have? Steam library. Oh, can you... Yeah, you can see that. 
Do you want to shout? Uh, I I can't read the games. I oh, mean, I sort of. I'm can. sorry. I forgot that you're illiterate. I forgot about that. Sorry. Yeah. No, they're just absolutely minuscule. <laughs> um. I feel like I oh. have. A... Oh, that's tempting. I played that earlier today. I did play. That. No, I I was I was thinking it was I was like I didn't know Ian had that. I was thinking of Escape from Tarkov was the game I was thinking. Of. Oh no. Sorry, folks. I'm just uh, looking for another game to play that I have installed so we can quickly switch over. Um, I know I have other stuff. Did you get Watch Dogs 2 for free? It was it was for free a little bit. Yeah, I, I didn't grab it. I have it on Xbox for free anyways. So. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I don't really feel like it. Usually I grab stuff. But That's... That is tempting. This? I, I assume... I, I can't see your mouse, so... Uh, second from the top, top left, second from the top row, second from yeah. the left. But also the first one's not a bad idea either. It just, it does not have anything because I'm not paying for it. So it's like, uh, nothing. Okay. it's real bare bones. Yeah, let's... Tree Troll says Risk of Rain 2 is good. Oh, I, I don't think I have that. Sorry, Tree Troll. How about, let's... Great Tree Troll. You going to be able to hop in on this? Because I can, I can shut down Parsec and we do this. Uh, yeah, I can probably hop in on that. Folks, I think I have it installed. Okay, just just let me know. Oh, you already disconnected. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and update because I've got a lot of stuff I want to talk about, anyways. So, it's true. Uh, let me get a controller. I got a controller. Oh boy, is my mic sound better? I, nothing's changed on my end, so it's still. I think you need to record yourself and listen back to yourself. No, because it's not that. Because this is, this is what it's normally at. So I wonder. If yeah, but to be fair, you you always. It's just a little bit worse today, but you always clip your mic. I know, but I, I think it's just through Discord. It's doing something. Oh, uh, that could be. Because, uh, like, I recorded this, and it sounds perfectly fine. Like I recorded earlier today, and it was perfectly fine. Okay, let's oh, see. No. I'm what going I sign to... In Granted, every time you talk to me, you hitch constantly. So, there's that. That's true. I think Discord just sucks. All right, folks. Boy, we've got a treat for you today. We're playing SnowRunner. I'm sorry, folks. Hard Space Shipbreaker. It's... We... We, we talked about it. The only other time that's happened where a game has performed so poorly that we have to kill the stream, or not kill the stream, but change games midstream, is GTA Online, which, as we all know, does not run well. Um, that's, that's a real shame. I feel like that game has, it has a whole lot of style on it. It's got a whole lot of promise. But man, if you cannot... Just Cause 3 is great. That's a good one. I don't, I don't have it installed, though. Just updating some stuff and then getting ready. Here we go. Um, you okay on your side? Yeah, I, I run into a issue, so give me a few seconds. Okay, folks, let me show you some. You know, I don't believe we have streamed this game, have we? I, so I got a new phone, and I need to switch my Google Authenticator. Oh, really? <laughs> because uh, it's I've since wiped the other phone. Oh, would you uh, you still sticking with the bad phone company? Yeah, I got a 11 Pro Max, big chunker. Oh, that's too big. I love it. It's very good. It's basically a mini tablet at that point. I mean, it's it's the same size as Karen's Pixel, pretty much. I don't think it is. It is, because I've held them up next to each other. Is it? She's a XL. Oh, that's why. Yes. Yeah, because mine is... 
what is it? Is it, I think it's 5.5 as the standard size and yours is six. Is that right? I think so. Yeah. See, I think six is too big. I think 5.5 is like the sweet spot and I've got big hands. Um, okay. So you I'm, start with me. I'll, uh, well, I guess you can't, can you? Well, yeah, I can. I can create a game, right? Yes, Private. you are right. To Zach, if you want to hop in here. I don't think he has it. Unfortunately. Okay, are we... Unless I bought it. I don't think I did. Are we epic friends? Yes. Oh. Oh. oh, sorry, folks. I'm... I forgot this game does not really like doing full screen stuff, but it's all right. So let's see what let's see what checks I got going on here. I'm trying to remember what was my what was my good guy. Why do I feel like? Oh, I do have a truck here. Trucking on the moon. Is that the is that the truck I want? Sorry, I like I like forgot where I was almost. I feel like I'm missing my cool truck. It's not that one. Did I? I did not. Don't tell me I lost my good truck. <gasps> not your good truck. Man, I haven't played this game in a while. Sorry, folks, I'm just trying to find my... Maybe we should go to Russia. I haven't been to Russia yet. How much of this game have you played? Uh, I That's did not go to Russia. Uh, I did not go to Russia. Only Alaska. Yeah, let's go to Russia. Oh no. Man, I, I, can, I can tell that it's time for a new graphics card. And I'm so excited for it, but it's still like a couple of months off. I'm going to close Parsec. This is, uh, Tree Troll, this is not Spin Tires. This is Snow Runner. It's basically the sequel to Spin Tires. It. No, well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, well it's still spin tires. No, it's it's not. It's Snow Runner. Well, the first one, spin tires, Mud Runner. And I think it's technically spin tires, Snow Runner. I, I don't think so. I think it's flat Snow Runner. Oh, did they drop the moniker for the second one? I don't believe they done did so. They done did it, boy. Try and close a bunch of stuff I got going on in the background here. Okay. Okay, I'm going to try and get... Well, I guess I could just recover. How you doing over there? Good. There's a reason they give you backup codes. Okay. Let's see. I want to store this truck. Now I want to go to the global map. Wait. I'm in. Wow. I didn't realize Death Stranding was on the Epic Game Store as well. I didn't realize that either. 
as well or or exclusive no it, it's on steam as well as oh okay i knew it launched on steam i just didn't know it launched i had this on. i had this weird little moment today where i saw that uh sekiro shadows die twice was announced for stadia and people were like who cares it's stadia and i was like this is a big deal like that was that's a sony exclusive on stadia that means it's coming to pc eventually and then i looked it up i was like oh no wait it, it came out for xbox in the steam as well <laughs> wow i was like oh that's why people aren't going crazy about it <laughs> that's pretty funny okay okay i'm in uh note to self i have to redo all of my two <laughs> two two factor stuff because so you can go to google and switch phones but i never set it up with google mm -hmm. so i can't switch phones um am i how do i join you i Is actually i don't know the question i thought you i thought you played this before i have what are you talking okay no i mean i thought you've played this multiplayer before you have right yeah you yeah. have I, yeah, it was I, like months ago. I that's what I mean remember. is I don't know. I, I'm in a... I've hosted a session, basically. I think just try and join me through friends or something. Are we not friends? That's what I'm saying. Could have sworn we were. Uh, I'm assuming it's just your usual name. Yes. I mean, you can say it out loud. It's my Twitter okay, handle. Okay, I sent you a friend request okay who is louie okay i see it i'm going to decline it perfect okay wow i didn't know death oh stranding was on the epic game store as well goodness what epic game store sucks why i have to <laughs> no <laughs> i have to refriend you how does it suck if you hit the wrong button i didn't hit the wrong button i hit I, so i had two requests to you so i canceled the second request after we became friends and it unfriended us why why would it do that yeah yeah i could see that yeah I could see somebody making that bad decision, that bad design decision. Okay, so let me figure out where we're going. Oh. <gasps> yes. Back. Oh, man. No, oh, it's not the button I wanted to hit. At least it seems like they fixed this game when you alt tab out of it. Oh, maybe. It used to be a nightmare. It's less of a I I I. The bugs I was having was that sometimes when you alt tab and you come back, your whole your cursor was like a hundred pixels off. You know what I mean? Oh, that's rough. Yeah, when this first came out, if you alt tab and came back, it was about thirty to a minute until the games like moved again. Got it. All right, so I'm gonna start going down my list. I've, I've, I've started making lists of things we should talk about on stream because I always forget stuff. I do that too. Ghost of Tsushima. It's ghost, right? Or is it ghosts? It's ghost. I think it's ghost. Um, reviews dropped today. Uh, you still planning on buying it? I think I'm still planning on buying it. I think I am too. I was a little hesitant, but none of the arguments mm -hmm. seemed very yeah <laughs> against me. So I don't know. Yeah, I, I agree. I think I think there's a lot of caveats on a lot of these reviews. Basically, the consensus was, and this is not a spoiler at all. They said it looks fantastic, very uh, very artistic and beautiful, but the open world design feels like it's from 2015. Just a lot of crap on the map, and none of it's really important. And the combat, the com people seemed half and half on the combat. Some people loved it. Some people said it's bad. So, but you know what? Um, they they said it's like it's like it's a very good Assassin's Creed clone and in some ways better than Assassin's Creed. And I was like, you know what? That's what I want in my life right now. After Origins, I'm ready for this. 
So I'm still gonna play it. Uh, where how how are you progressing? I'm I'm googling how to join a multiplayer game because I do not remember how. Um. So can you do it from the from the from the game? That's what I was trying to find, but I, I can't seem to. There's no like friends menu. So there so was I'm missing it on the main menu. There was a co-op option, and that's what I, I hit did. Start. Yeah, I hit start co-op, and then I can click on my saved game. Yeah, I think that's you launching co-op. Oh, that's the worst. So you hit start co-op, click on your game, then it comes up with a second menu. Oh, you know what? That, that actually has join friends game. As stupid as it is, that kind of makes sense because you're picking, you're playing which off of save, the truck. Yeah, yeah you're, you're picking the trucks that you're using, which, which is tied to your save. Um, yeah, I'm I'm still excited for it. I'm ready to play it. Um, it kind of segues into my new topic, which is I really want to get some more time with my new TV that I got installed yeah. on Friday. Um, I'm just going to kind of spaz out about for this TV for a little bit. So I bought TCL 8 Series, 65-inch, got a really good deal on it. Uh, I had my parents over on Sunday to help me move it around. We basically moved our current plasma TV into the bedroom so that, for example, right now I'm streaming, so Maggie's in the bedroom watching TV instead of having to hide up somewhere um, with a laptop. And um, have you seen... In person, William, the LG OLED, like the C7 or C8, whatever that CX series is, that everybody says is the best TV. Probably. Like at a store or something? Yeah, that's what I would think. So I have as well. And to my amateur enthusiast eye, my TV looks identical, which I was not expecting it to look that good. Um, Let me grab this task real quick. Okay, we got to go to this. We got to go to this guy here. You see that? That marker. So, uh, dude. So. Um, I'll follow you. I haven't done this map at all. Yeah, so, it's been a while since I've. I can't see crap right now. I'm, <laughs> it's I'm, very dark. Ow. Don't hurt me. <laughs> Please stop. I forgot how to turn my headlights on. Oh, I wonder on. if I can get on your trailer bed. Isn't there a way to turn headlights on? I think your headlights are on, for me at least. I think I could turn them on brighter, though. Oh, maybe not. Regardless. Okay, follow me, boys. Room, room. Um, yeah, so so the TV looks great. And, That's uh, great. Um, I can't see anything. Can you see anything? It's so, yeah. It's so dark in Russia. Soviet Russia. Um, you can advance the time if you'd like. Actually, yeah, let's do that. Ooh, you know what? I don't think I can in multiplayer. Uh, yeah, just realized that too. So, um, yes, yeah, so I've been watching like like the, this TV does a cool thing, and I'm pretty sure you're familiar with it. It's it's cool, but it's also frustrating for setup, which is that it lets you set the picture settings for each either Roku app or each input, or oh, and yeah. each input, which is great. But then it also lets you set the settings for each input for each HDR or Dolby Vision mode. So basically, I've had to set the settings like like a dozen times, and I don't think I'm done yet. I keep coming across Hmm. apps or situations where it's like I'm watching YouTube and all of a sudden Dolby Vision instead of HDR 10 starts playing, and I have to pop open the options and change some of the settings around. Yeah, which is it's great. It just makes the the initial setup frustrating. Um, but yeah, I just just to go back to the LG, the main thing about this TV is that 
How do I put this without sounding racist, Will? Do you know what I'm gonna say? Oh, no. Oh. Wait. Yes. The color black is is actually black. Oh, yeah, it's incredible. It's it's incredible. It's spotlight. And um, and the, the key thing is I, I actually found, so I saw the LG OLED a couple weeks ago at Costco and they were running this demo reel and it had like, the main thing was it had this this image of honey being dropped into like one of those honey spoons into like a teacup. Are you, are you okay back yeah. there? Honey spoon. <laughs> what are they called? Uh, honey it's not a honeycomb, is it? It's not a honeycomb, you dingus. That's what bees no, I know do to fix their a... hair. Come on now. I know it's not like the little honeycomb, but I can't... What are those things called? Is it not also called a honeycomb to be funny? No, that would be funny, but I don't think it is. Um, yeah, I, I, feel like you, I feel like you missed my joke. I said... I, I know the bee thing. It's very yeah, funny. I skipped you. over it because it wasn't funny. Are you? Oh, you're still back there. You stuck? Yeah, I'm, right, I'm right behind you. No, I'm just working my way through. So anyways, it was a scene where you basically have like bright golden colors right next to black background. And the thing about the OLED that a lot of other TVs can't do is that the black is very, very black. It looks like the TV's turned off, but then immediately next to it is an incredibly bright HDR golden color. Mm. And so... My t I actually found that in 4K HDR, that exact same video on YouTube, and I played it, and it looks identical on my new TV. It's fantastic. Oh, you should send me that video. I want to try it. Oh, yeah. Because it'll, it'll still look good on yours. It's just that when you get down to the nitty-gritty, yours won't be able to get uniformly uh -oh. bright or dark across the screen like mine will. Daddy. You stuck? Daddy. Okay. Help me, Tom Cruise. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Just bring me home, please. <laughs> let me let me get you up on the grass where we've got some actual like. I'm just gonna get you out of this mud section, and then I'll flip you. Oh, I I'm not attached anymore to you. Oh. Why How did you, was I? Why did you let go? Because I, I, I thought you were, I thought you meant something else, but that's fine. I'm just kidding. That's oh, fine. you're attaching the winch to me? Yeah, I'm attaching. Oh, that's uh, weird. In, I guess in the other game, it asks you. I'm going to put that. I'm just going to, I'm, I'm trying to pull you to a little bit of a safer area before I reposition. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so long story short, I'm now, TV looks great. There, there are some problems with it, and I don't think it's problems with the TV. I think it's problems with c content. It's kind of like, you remember your first 1080p TV? Yes. And how, like, all of a sudden you're like, I need to find a bunch of 1080p content. I'm going to look at it, and I'm going to scrutinize it. Mm-hmm. Oh, come on now. Come on. There you go. Thank you. So, so I'm kind of doing the same thing, but the problem I'm having is that I'm... There's this weird thing where there's like a slight... If you're watching 24 FPS content, which is like a lot of stuff, basically. I forgot how to like... There we go. Um, the problem... It is muddy. I <laughs> know. Uh, so cool. The problem I'm having is... So... This, this also happens on your TV. I don't know if you've noticed it, but like if you watch 24 FPS content, it doesn't do motion blur well. And sometimes when you're looking at the frame, it just kind of does like a stutter judder. And I looked it up in the yeah. basically, basically the reason why it's doing that is because your TV is so high refresh rate that it doesn't do film quality stuff well. And it's just, it's basically like, it's like displaying an NES on an HD TV. It's not going to look mm -hmm. quite the same because the, because the display tech is better. Yeah. Yeah, I've noticed that some, on some things, uh, uh, especially like long sweeping shots. Yeah. And so so I've gotten better at 
learning to ignore that once I realized it wasn't a problem and once I like turned off all the action smooth and motion smoothing and all that stuff. Um, it's weird though because on some content, like like I was just watching Hamilton because it was a good some content I have to turn action smoothing on low because otherwise the quality of it is so bad that the judder becomes bad. Like the video quality. Oh. So I've it's, just always turned off any smoothing uh, yeah. or anything. But like Hamilton is an example where with it completely off, it's just like a juddery and stuttery mess almost. Um, so I have to turn the action smoothing on because it turns on like a, a slightly more aggressive D judder. Gotcha. Or, or D stutter, whatever you want to call it. Okay, there's the oil tanker. Oh, so, yeah. So, the other thing is, I've been, I've started watching this European TV show called Dirk. <gasps> um, Dirk's so good. So, I'm four episodes in, and it's not HDR, but it's 4K on Netflix. I, I'm going to ask you something. I, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm like just a slightly concerned, but I don't think it's my TV. I, there are scenes in there, in that show where it looks like the color grade it's like there's two slightly different color grades and it keeps flipping between them like every other second did you notice that i think it i think every it's, other second yeah where it's like okay so you imagine two color grades one is like very warm and one is like five percent less warm mm -hmm. and so there's certain shots where like they'll show like a person's face and they're holding a sweater and like if you look at the sweater and the sweater's one color it's just like it's like pulsing in and out between these two color grades. Oh, weird. Yeah, no, I don't. I never and got I, any of that. I don't think it's my TV, and it's just. I wonder if it's the 4K version. It could be. No, but you played the 4K version. Watch. No, I don't have 4K on Netflix. Oh, that's true. I forgot. That's a that's a pay option. Uh, let me get in here. I think you have to detach your winch. Wow. <laughs> I I stopped using oh, that truck because it flips way too easily. <laughs> so much fun. I think the last thing I did in, was find this truck. So that's why I'm using it. It's also not Oh, come on. Let me uh I'm going to I'm going to go up the hill. Maybe. Uh um, I wonder if you pull it down the hill, it'll just roll over. Well, I was going to try and you know, let me just... I'm, I'm going to focus on getting you first. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah, pull me. Thank you. Um... Okay, I'm going to try... Try to flip it. Push in it. I'm pushing it. Yeah. I okay, pushed wait. it. I'm going to keep going. Okay, that's good enough. That's good enough. Stop. Nice. I'm not I'm not touching it. Oh. So that was me? My winch was still going like I could hear it, but it wasn't. I wasn't Yeah, I only it to go. I only pushed it. Oh, please no. Don't flip again. Um yeah, so that's that's pretty much it on my TV. It's mostly just trying to find I think I'm going to rewatch Rogue One cuz I've been planning to and that's actually 4K HDR on Disney Plus, which is cool. Oh, yeah, it's Disney Plus. That's not pay tier, right? No, that's not pay tier. Oh, sorry, and it's not oh. HDR. It's Dolby Atmos, which is. Oh. It's, Maybe it's I'll watch Dolby one as well. Yeah, that'd be a nice little film club. Um. Are you. Uh, what else you got on your list? Uh, I want to talk about the race. Oh, yeah. How was your... Uh, well, I was braving the high seas. Um, yeah. You were braving the high sleeps. Yeah, so just to catch people... Uh, IRPM. I, I participated in a team endurance iRacing event. iRacing is a very extreme uh, car racing simulator game. Uh, it was the 24 Hours of Spa. Spa Francorchamps is a famous uh, racetrack in Belgium. And uh, we did 24 Hours of Racing. Um, I raced six hours of it because we were on a four-person team. 
and there were 55 cars in the race. I think we were just planning on... Basically, the way it's set up is it's so realistic that if you take damage, like, let's say you let's say you roll the car like you just did, Will. Mm -hmm. You have to call a tow truck. Not actually call a tow truck, but you basically say, hey, take me back to the pits. And you get tele teleported back to the pits, but you have to pay, like, a five, ten minute time penalty for the tow truck. Which basically means you're sitting there for ten minutes while the race still continues. And then any repairs that need to be done, um, you have to sit in the pit lane and take those repairs. So if you flip the car, you're probably looking at at least 30 minutes worth of repairs. So 30 minutes plus five minutes for the tow means you're sitting on the sidelines for 35 minutes while the race continues. That's crazy. So basically our main goal was just finish the race because you can damage yourself so much that you can't be repaired. Oh, no. What have you done? <laughs> That stupid, <gasps> stupid bridge. That's coming. Daddy's coming. I also, I don't have a winch because it's tied to my engine and my engine's off. Daddy's coming. I'm going to get mm. you up. Good girl. Me, I'm going to detach the trailer. Hey. Oh, oh, dang. you're going to get yourself over too, aren't you? Yeah, let me, uh, um, so it, it, long story short, there's 55 people in the race. We just wanted to finish probably, we wanted to finish the race as in not damage ourselves so much that we couldn't finish the race. And if we were gonna finish the race, we wanted to finish top top half, basically. Top 25, top 20, 25 teams. Ladies and gentlemen, we finished the race in fourth place. I still can't believe it. We killed it. We did so well. The last six hours of the race, not only do you get time penalties for repairs, you also get, um, you get a certain amount of, they call them incidents, but basically if you touch another car, if you touch a wall, if you stick a tire off track, you get an incident. And they count those up. And mm -hmm. for every certain number of incidents, you have a, a stop-go penalty, which is basically where you go into the pits, you stop the car, and then you keep driving. So it's basically like a minute and a half time penalty, which really hurts you. We, we never had to serve one of those penalties and for the last six hours of the race, we were perfect. We made no mistakes for the last six hours of the race, which is actually very difficult at Spa because that, that track is like, you go six inches off the track and you get an incident. So it's, it's difficult to be fast, but also do it perfectly. So um, just a fantastic experience. One more thing about the race. I think you'll actually find this pretty interesting, Will. So iRacing supports a lot of um, APIs which mm -hmm. is great because I actually had two additional screens running during the race. So I have my main screen, which was running the car. So I'm driving off the main screen. I had my phone running an application that's basically a virtual dashboard. And I had it situated on my desk in between like the top of my steering wheel and the center of my steering wheel, like where my dash, where like your speedometer actually would be in real life. And that was telling yeah. me like, gear position tachometer but it was also telling me this is how many gallons of fuel you have left you have about 2.7 laps worth of fuel left so that was telling me when i needed to pit it was really helpful and then i had another screen which was my 10 inch tablet that it's basically called a button box like a virtual button box so if you imagine like a spaceship there's all these buttons on it so it was things like quick things for chat if i needed to say like like if i'm trying to pass somebody and I'm flashing my lights and I'm faster than them and they pull off to the side and let me go, then I have a button to say thank you in chat. And I had a buttons to change my brake balance, change my traction control, you know, do all oh, sorts of stuff. Cool. Yeah, so, I, so it was actually really cool that the game has all these APIs so that I can use this third-party software to run all these extra virtual screens to give me all the information I need. And then... Um, when I wasn't racing, I was running a timing screen, which was this, this giant spreadsheet that's actively saying, like, here's all the teams, here's their distance from each other, here's how many pits they have, how many penalties they have, where they are in the race, how, what lap they're on, where they are on the track. And it was easy to look at that and be, like, on the radio with my teammates and be like, hey, you're looking good. You're about to lap the guy that's ahead of us, that's, that's behind us. So we're looking really good. We're three and a half minutes ahead. You're lapping three seconds faster than them every lap. So we're, like, we're good. Oh, there I go. Let's, re <laughs> let's recover the cars. Come back. 
Yeah, there was no way I could. I was gonna get you. Yeah. I just wanted to get daytime. Anyway, so that's that's the spa. Just a, a lot of fun. It's it's crazy to not just be an eye racer now, which is largely considered like the pinnacle of motorsport, but also to just like do a fantastic job of it. Where am I? Oh, I'm here. Um, but also to just do a 24 hour team race and actually do pretty well at it. Yeah, that's awesome. Fourth place, you said? Fourth place out of 55 teams. That's pretty good. Yeah, and it's crazy because, like, we weren't even that fast, but it's just that we were so consistent and we were not getting into stupid fights. We made no mistakes. We had no accidents, or at least no accidents that required repair. You know, some, some of my teammates, like, spun off the track, but they didn't hit anything, so they just got back on the track. Um, and that was my first endurance race. There was a couple other people that was their first endurance race, so it was, it was good stuff. You following me? No, because... Uh, man, do I not have any trucks equipped for this? How much money uh, do you have? So uh, I have I have the Paystar, which is a fantastic truck. I have twenty thousand. But what if you sell all your trucks? I don't want to sell all my. Cool, cool trucks. Well, here's here's the thing. This game does a fantastic job of letting you do that because the price you get, the amount of money you get for selling a truck is the same that it costs to buy the truck back. So you can easily swap trucks. Tree Troll says get a Jeep. I don't think they have Jeeps, do they? I don't think so. Um, what? The Flea Star? No, Paystar. International Paystar. I think it's 80000 It's not bad. This got me through, I don't want to say everything in the game, but like 20 hours worth of game. This truck alone. Um... But yeah, that's fantastic. Another thing I want to talk about, surprise announcement. Uh, just kidding. It's more of like a surprise leak followed by an announcement. Far Cry 6. Do you happen to see anything about that, Will? Yeah, I watched the trailer. It looks interesting. I, man, Far Cry is, Far Cry 5, I think we were both kind of on the same page where we felt like it was too much of the same and it made it a bit of a boring game. Does that sound right? Yeah. So... Far Cry 6 has a city in it, which I guess my standards for Far Cry are so low that I'm I'm back in. I feel like <laughs> I feel like they haven't changed anything else with that game. It's the same old formula, same old stuff, but they have a city now, and I'm like, okay, maybe I'll come back now. Uh, I believe that launches February 18th, 2021. Um, so I'm excited for that. How do you recover again? You do up on the D-pad. Excuse me for fun. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. I thought it was in the menu. There we go. Another surprise release date announcement this week. Microsoft Flight Simulator. Yes. Yeah, me too, baby. Me too. Teddy's very excited. Got my Thrustmaster. Got to take that out. Um, I So I was going to buy a joystick, but then I thought wait a minute why can't i use my to your left why can't i use my wheel and pedals oh true it turns out i can't because i thought about oh. it because okay so here's what i was thinking i was thinking roll is the steering wheel right throttle is the pedal and the brakes but then what is my yaw and what is my pitch I could I could do the paddles for one of them, but that's not gonna be good. Uh, that's true. So, I, I found a cheapo. It's actually not that cheapo. It's this like Logitech stick that has like 15 buttons. Um, it's like 40 bucks on Amazon, and people were like, "Hey, this is the best stick unless you pay 200 dollars." <laughs> and I was like, "Good enough for me." So, so I'm probably gonna buy that at some point. Man, I I've I set some price alerts for some steering wheels. Because I've considered it. It's just because a, mm -hmm. it's I just think it would be fun to have one and I, but I'm not going to like buy the best one or like spend tons of money on it. Yeah. Um we'll have to go over that off stream. I just want to make sure you're looking at cuz there's a lot in the market. 
but there's really only like two or three budget ones that are worth it. Yeah. Thanks, um, bud. You good? There you go. Um. But yeah, so. Did you see the picture the the Microsoft had sent stuff out to people? It was like a guy from The Verge. Uh, yeah, that pisses was like, me off. That pisses me off. The stuff oh. looks so cool. They, they got like seven hundred dollars worth of gear. I know. That's like I want. That's inappropriate. I feel like that's. I feel like if you're a good journalist, you would not use that equipment, and you would immediately turn it around and like raffle it off for charity or something, or send it. Oh back yeah. To them. Um. I mean, I don't fault Microsoft for trying to do that. It's just. I don't think he's the reviewer. No, necessarily. but still, even, well, maybe for a preview copy. I, I know they know. do that a lot with stuff. Oh, come on. Let daddy out. There we go. I got stuff. And sometimes it's easier to drive on the grass than it is the roads. I know. And by sometimes, I mean all the time. Um, oh, I want to say quick. Uh, cause it's on my mind. Sunday, I finished the incomparable Death Stranding. Um, I got back into it cause I, for I wanted to, uh, I just wanted to play a PS4 game before Tsushima came out. Oh, to get used to So I figured, yeah, use the controller. I figured I would just finish out Death Stranding. The story, um, I think the underlying story and world is cool, um, but it just needed an editor's pass on it. Oh my god! Like it just it just needed someone else to be like, "Hey, you can't do this." Um, the main the main thing I noticed across the entire game is he will con could I assume Kojima wrote the whole thing? I can't actually remember, but he would say something subtle and you'd be like oh man that is subtle that's cool and then immediately explain it in the next sentence and i was constantly like oh no 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 oh i fell over i was constantly like why why yeah why are you doing that like there's the um like fragile she's like i'm fragile but i'm not that fragile what does that mean just like it's like we get it your name's fragile because you run a delivery business and you're fragile you know, I would uh, I would 100% watch Death Stranding as a TV show, but as a game, yeah. it was just like I got maybe like I think I got to like the second warehouse depot, and I was like, "Yep, I'm done." Yeah, so th that's the difference for me. I think that gameplay is incredible, and I love it. It's so much fun. Well, I, I don't want to say it's it's not the gameplay; it's that the environment doesn't reward the gameplay. Oh, I, I just, I had so much fun. Like, you get to a ma really mountainous region, and, like, I would spend, like, 15 minutes figuring out what I'm going to bring, and then, like, plan my route. It was just real good. Um, uh, yeah, that, that, towards the end of that game, there's a lot more, like, deliveries, obviously, and, like, different stuff you can do, and I thought it was super fun. I had a, yep. like, I came away from the game having, a, like, if it was just the gameplay and you were like, this is a Kojima tech demo, I think it would have been a better game just because the story... Again, the like base story is cool, and the world is cool, but the execution and what was written is just not good. Uh, performances are great, though. Yeah, good performances. Um, so, yeah, I finished that. Um it was funny the next day it came out on pc and i didn't even realize it and i was like oh what the heck um which i wanted eventually to go on sale on pc because i'm i'm using the photo mode in ps4 to take pictures of stuff because i want to uh i don't know if i want to do like a full cosplay or something or just like make some 3d models of stuff and then 3d print it just to have um but i was like oh man 4k photo mode i will gladly take that Oh. Um, so yeah I finished it I'm kind of sad I finished it so early because now I gotta wait for Tsushima oh. but I've uh oh don't daddy <laughs> 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 so 
this stupid, stupid bridge. Can you pull me? Yeah. Oh, I don't Actually, no. Yeah, pull, pull me from the other side. Yeah. I know. It just it just randomly attaches. Wait, I think I can. Oh, that's a oh little, yeah. It's a little bush. What'd you call me? Let me try that one. Nope. Actually, you know what? Let me let me try backing up here. That's safer. There we go. You know what? I don't think I even need that bridge. <laughs> Dumb bridge. <laughs> um. There we go. And the other cool thing is, at the end of the the end of the game, it like after all the credits and everything, it's like, hey, it's two weeks earlier, and you can just explore the world and do whatever you want. Oh, I love it when games uh, do that. Which I like that, because I would honestly go back in and just do a bunch of deliveries, because, like, climbing up some of those mountains and just, like, figuring out your way through it was really fun. Um, towards the end, I got really good at, like, just taking out BTs. Uh, yeah, it was fun. Uh, but to fill my time, I, I started playing on the Steam sale. I purchased Noita, I think is how you pronounce it. Um... Which I'm thinking of streaming at some point, possibly tomorrow. But it is. You ever play Hell of Falling Sand? Nope. Wow. Neither had Karen. It is a web browser game, which like simulates like fire and like oh, different material. Yes. And yes. Four and stuff. You mean Falling Sand, not Hella Falling Sand? Oh, there's Hell of Falling Sand. That's the oh. version I played. Yeah, yeah, and Noida is the one that has basically the same type of physics engine. Yeah, so every single pixel is simulated. Um, and it's also a rogue, like, um, and, like, as you, so you have wands. So every time you start the game, you start with the same wands, unless you do, like, the daily challenge, which gives you random stuff. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you basically, it's, like, Ugh. almost spelunky if you do level by level. And every time you finish a level, you get your health back, some experience, and then you can buy new wands and pick a perk. You can discover spells along the way, all sorts of stuff. Um, and your progress in the menu fleshes out. So the next time you come across a spell or perk you found before, it'll remember it and tell you what it is this time, rather than you having to guess. Yeah. Um, but it's really fun. Uh, I've, I've had a blast with it. Um, it's another good game to just play well stuff. So it's very feels kind of like Terraria, Terraria ish. Oh, like dog um, shit. <laughs> um, it's sort of like aiming with the one with the mouse and controlling it with the other thing. Uh, yeah, and you can like fly and stuff. It's pretty good. Um, and then I've been playing a bunch of Euro Truck, which is also fun. Are you enjoying Euro Truck? Led... I feel like Euro Truck yeah, I really is. Like it. It's, I don't, man, it's just like, it's like, yeah, sure, I guess it's a simulator, but that's kind of it. Does that kind of make sense? It's like, I guess. I, I feel like people are more just like, yeah, it's a game about driving trucks. Isn't that cool? And it's like, well, yeah, but it's, it's, it's a functioning simulator for that. But I just don't, I just don't really see why people find it so compelling. I just like driving. It's fun. And like doing the deliveries and stuff. Man, you it's very therapeutic. This, you got to get the steering wheel though. I uh, know that's what I want. I think you gotta you gotta basically plan to spend at least like two fifty three hundred bucks. You you could although honestly you're in a good like used marketplace area where you've got a whole bunch of people around you, so yeah, you can probably find a decent one used for like two hundred bucks. Yeah, I've been I've got some stuff I've got some stuff marked and then I've got um, other avenues I've been looking for some. But I'm not gonna go crazy looking for one. I figured if something falls on my lap, oh, come on, it'll uh, it'll fall on my lap. I'm trying to think if I've been playing anything else. Oh, I was just playing some more Vanquished. Vanquished, Vanquish. It's by the guy who made Bayonetta. Vanquish. And Vanquish, yeah. The game's really good. It's just fun. What? Um, I think that's pretty much it. I did it. I got the trailer. I'm like, I'm not trying to jump into anything big right now because I'm waiting for Tsushima. 
Yeah, same here. I, I've still been playing Ace, Ace Combat 7. It's a shame because the, the story in the game is actually, like, riveting and very well presented. Like, the cutscenes are great and everything. But the um, the gameplay is just... I don't know. It's it's kind of a shame. I feel like flight combat simulators are pretty much... They're pretty limited in what they can do. Like, if you picture what a, what a combat flight simulator looks like... Yeah. They're all pretty much going to look the same. And so I, I almost want this to be slightly more arcadey, but it's not. So I'll, I'll keep playing every now and then, mostly because it's, you know, free Game Pass game and it's already installed. Um, but I kind of just want to sit down and be like, I just want to go on YouTube and be like, hey, somebody show me like a six hour fan edit of all the cutscenes from all of the Ace Combat games, because I definitely want to want to see that. Yeah. I feel that way about... Uh... Like when people talk about a story mode in a fighting game. Yeah. I'm like, are you just fighting all the time? Pretty much. It's like, from the handful that I've played, it's just like, here's a cutscene, but the cutscene always ends with a fight, even if these guys are friends. And I guess I just it. don't like fighting games, so it doesn't really appeal to me, but yeah, fighting I guess games if are you trash, really like pretty fighting much. games, yeah. and having a story that strings fights together, that kind of sounds like fun. So it makes sense. I just yeah, don't like I can see that. I Although I thought about downloading, uh, what you calls it, Soul Calibur, because it was on Game Pass. I feel like fighting games are just like the worst in like gamer gatekeeping. What am I? Can you push me? Where are you? Are you near me? I I grabbed the trailer. I'm heading back. Oh, I I recovered back. Okay, you want to come help me out? Vroom, vroom. We're not ending this stream till I get this. Oh, great. Do, 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 yeah, do, I think do. I think it's the trailer that's stuck. Oh, uh, I don't want to delve too much into this because it's somewhat of a thing I'm writing. But uh, what I want to say about Death Stranding is my favorite thing in that game, other than like how much I like playing it, is just the design of the stuff in the world is very good um i don't know if how big uh shinkawa is, was in like designing the little things but just like the get like the gadgets that design like of the backpack the like sh the look oh, of yeah, the yeah. that's of stuff. the different boxes the look of the logos because that's just stuff kojima's good at it's just no, like not, not me the trailer the trailer's oh. stuck yeah yeah no i agree oh 100%. not um it's just like it's just so cool um yeah i don't know why i like that Ooh. stuff it's just very that's, good that's helping it's coming no not anymore there's like there's like a rut in the road like the car has traction i mean my truck has traction it can move easily it's just the trailer that's stuck maybe if i push yeah, you want to try pushing? Let me just give us a few more tugs. That seems That's to be working. What she said. Hmm. I had a, I had something else on here, but I didn't. Oh, I already talked about that. Tabletop simulator. Yes, tabletop simu. Oh no! Oh no! Late. So how many we're gonna be playing that on Thursday stream? How many people do we have for that stream? Currently, we have three people. Oh, that's pretty good. That's not bad. Okay, I'm winched up. You okay over there? Yeah, I got it. Oh. You see, you see what happens? It's like it just gets. Is helping at all? I don't think so. I really want to have like two winches. Yeah, I really wish they were better at setting that up. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna back up to it. Retrailer.
Okay, watch out. I'm going to push it back. Oops. Oh, come on. Back it up. Wow. It's not happy. Is it? Is that front? Oh, it's jackknifed. Wow, this does not want to go. Oh. I can't see. Is it moving at all? No? Uh, tiny bit. You're moving more than it's moving. I'm trying to hit it. No, don't roll over, please. <laughs> oh, it's moving slowly, slowly. This is the phase of the game where you just sit here and you let it move for a while. Although I'm half empty. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, gosh. Dang it. <laughs> I am winched to you, right? No? No, you're winched to a tree. That's Just weird. go to... The, in the selector, can you get me? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, that was the thing was I, I thought I was on you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna try doing the same thing that flipped me. Oh. Actually, yeah, if you could pull the trailer to the side. Yeah, that's what I, I was trying to get out of the mud to pull it. Nope, that's you. Nope. Stop. No. Oh, I'm not close enough. Anything? I'm pulling. I just kind of want to at least get it to a new position. Let me change my winch target real quick. There we go. Eating me. Uh, Man, that is not moving. I really wish there was like a kitty litter upgrade, you know? Because that's what you do when your car gets stuck. You, you get out and you put stuff under the wheels. Or some cardboard. Yeah. But that's I always love that video of the guy who like tied a piece of wood. Like every time it spins, it hits the piece of wood. Yeah. Okay, wait, you know what? I'm gonna decharge the trailer. What do you, what do you mean I can't attach? Oh, it's because you're attached to it. Can you let go of it? Sorry. Thanks. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Sugar. Hey! Hey! I pulled it a bunch, so I wonder if that got uh, it off the thing. I don't know. Maybe it was just me. I think I think well, it was I a combination it of us. Yeah. yeah, I think I think it was us doing all that. Uh, you can go. I'm gonna recover. Oh, you're gonna recover. Okay. Yeah. I like that you can recover from anywhere. Yes. It's kind of like your last resort. Yeah, but I love that the items are persistent. Wherever you leave. Yeah. That is pretty cool. Okay, here we go. Skrrr. Oh, boy. Vroom, vroom. Okay. Oh, daddy's gone. Come on now. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't even look where I'm supposed to take this. Can you see where I'm supposed to? I'm, I'm assuming back to the place where it was. Can you see uh, that? No, because you took the thing. I don't have oh, it. Oh, it doesn't take both of us? You don't see drowned oil no. tank? I see where to pick it up. Uh, like where to pick up the 
thingy. Oh no. Well, I'm assuming that's. It just says transport at home in the description, so. Deliver to parking. Oh, no. I hate this game. We went the wrong oh. way. This game is so it's stupid because it's just like, there. but you know, I think I think we can do it. I think if once I get down you to this what? road, I'll take a right and we'll see if we can get there. You want to scout ahead? Yeah, I think it was showing it for me. I can't tell if I just activated it or it was showing. No, no it's, that it, symbol wasn't there. Before. It's not that it doesn't so show you. Saw. It's that it, it shows you, but it doesn't make it clear. That's the next step. So you have yeah. to like go into the task, look at it, and then it goes, says go over here, and then you like highlight where the go over here is. Right, but there's a there's a like magnifying glass on the tanker now that wasn't there before, so I think I did activate it. Oh, okay. I think we have to activate it separately. Um, but I I had it activated. Like it, it it's just that it's it really needs to like it doesn't. Yeah. I don't want to say auto update, but it doesn't like do things where it's like hey you're going great job which... next step here you go i'm gonna take a right so you yeah you're gonna take a right up here yeah i don't know where this road leads because i haven't discovered any of this yeah i'll go i'm also going so slow because this tank yeah, you are. oh i need to turn on all-wheel drive Vroom. i bet we're gonna get to a part where there's like a bridge out which is fine i'll just leave it at that bridge head Mm -hmm. Have you noticed when yeah. you hit the horn, your guy does like an animation? Yeah, it's cute. <gasps> Do you see that? There's an upgrade down there. Yeah, I saw it earlier and I was like, no, I can't get there. <laughs> you can get there and just drive off the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Sacrifice myself because you get all the upgrades. It's the worst. Mm. Yeah. I don't think upgrades carry. I know money carries or experience carries, whatever it is. Yeah, but everything in the world is only you. Yes. Kind of sucks. Okay, how far ahead am I? Yeah, we're looking pretty good. I know exactly what you said. We're eventually going to reach somewhere where it's like, hi, clear these rocks. Yeah, I had a lot of fun with this game, but I definitely fell off it. Yeah. It's no death strand. I think I played oh, like five which, hours. They added a bunch of, like, there's the Half-Life stuff in Steam. Yeah. And everyone thought it was, like, skins and stuff. And then in the launch trailer, there's, like, a, one of the stilt striders. Oh, really? In the game. In the game? I'm like, what the crap? That's big. I know. I was like, that, I, like, again, I, my, I, my only curiosity of getting on PC is, I want to see how that interacts with the environments. Like, yeah, because in that game, I drove the car everywhere, even if I wasn't technically supposed to. Like, I just brought it everywhere. Yeah, it was easier that way. How are we looking? And so what far? am I? Uh, we're looking good. I'm just heading down this road. Um, I think I'm about to make a turn. Yeah. So I'm I'm not sure which of these roads. Can you see where I am? Yeah, I, I'm. I'm betting it's. Well, first I bet of it's all, up more, right? Because I think that goes into a lake, and I feel like you're gonna hit. I, no, I feel like I. I feel like you keep going straight. Yeah, yeah, but the, you see how the big wide one goes into a thing, like a swamp. But I, I think that's. Yeah. I think that's the one because, that's a main road, and we're going to a gas station, which is typically on a main road. But I wonder if this north road goes behind see how it links up with that other road I, i'd stay on the wide on the main road okay we'll stay on at the least road. scout it out Let's, oops if i can get through it it's a lot of muck but yeah i i, I just threw the game on my steam wish list because i was like hey when in like six months when this game's two cents oh can you come back buy it I need some fuel. I'm assuming you have fuel on you, right? Yes, I do. Glad yeah. you stopped me. I was just about to get in the muck. Run out in a couple minutes. 
Um, yeah, I just, I, I, I was, when I played that game, I was struck by the cinematics and the storytelling, even though some of it was too on the nose. And so to hear that it doesn't really pay off or that it, it kind of quality goes downhill and then the fact that I didn't like the gameplay, I, I, that's that's kind of what just put me yeah, off Yeah, if, if you're not into the gameplay, it's not going to bring you everywhere. I think it's a cool and concept. It's, I just, reading all the reviews, I knew that I'd seen, I don't want to say all of it, but I'd seen the bulk of the gameplay variety in a way. And I was like, they're not doing enough to really keep me here or iterate. Okay. Fuel, please. Do I do that? Oh. No, I'm doing it. Okay. I fueled you, right? Yeah. You All right, can't so take I... any fuel from your oil. Oh, it's an oil tanker, so never mind. Yeah. <laughs> oil right. goes in the gas. Let's go to this muck. Bro. Oh, I just, I love that you can see your guy, like, slam his hand onto the wheel when he honks the horn. Oh, my guy doesn't do it. He should Oh, he do only it. does it every so often. He doesn't yeah. do every one. Oh, no. Is that the muck we're going through down there? Yeah. That's why I was saying. Ugh. Yeah. I'm going to go scout up this north one. Yeah, you go scout. Although, I don't know if you could make it across this little bridge. Actually, you might. It's kind of crappy, though. <laughs> I just lost 23 damage. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to make it across the little bridge. <laughs> oh, boy. I That has like a... I'm not making that. No way. You crazy? <laughs> Actually, there's another route that like tucks back up from the muck. Thinking about being aggressive and just mucking it up. Oh no! No no no! no. How stupid do you? Yeah, think I think that you would? could muck it up. Okay, gotta get away from this. Have they always? They, there's no way they have not always shown your fuel tank is transparent. Have they? Uh yeah. Maybe I just never noticed. That's that's in Mud Runner. Madrunar. Yeah, this doesn't seem like it's that bad of mucking it up, because there's definitely trees along the way. It's oh, not like no. it. <sighs> Yep. Yeah, that's why that car is way too easy to roll. <laughs> God darn it. Oh <sighs> I'll just be here. You could probably recover. And come meet me. I don't even have... Yeah, I probably couldn't make it all the way back. Oh, yeah, there she goes, boys. There she goes. Okay, good news. Not stuck yet. I'm proud of you. There she goes, a ham. Okay, into some deep stuff. And immediately stuck. Oh, no, wait. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! What'd you do? They had, they had a tree out there, and I winched to it, and it immediately breaks. This, like, big, thick, healthy tree. <laughs> it's in a swamp. It's just gonna pull right out. Oh, swamp. It's gonna... Okay, okay there. Let me just figure out if we're done with the stream or not. 
Yep, we're done with this stream, folks. Uh, oh. That's been us for Subpixel. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining us. Sorry about the Herky Jerky stream, but it's just a Hard Space Shipbreaker. Great premise, a lot of great design. Y'all gotta work on that. Like I said, it's only the second time we've had to change stream because of uh, game performance issues. Um, Will, thank you so much for joining. Where can people find you? You can find me on Twitter at Hunt270. You can find me on Twitter at Think Gibson, and you can find Subpixel at Twitter, Facebook, Mixer, Twitch, and Instagram at Subpixel Team. You can also find us at subpixelfilms.com. That takes you right to our YouTube page where we have some fantastic videos, archives of the live streams, as well as edited videos, including the premiere of Pixel 8. Uh, that's our brand new series where we take around a high 8 millimeter camcorder, uh, and we just kind of have some fun. Uh, our latest, well, first episode is called board games and stuff we went to this fantastic store in baltimore called games and stuff they say they're the biggest board game store in baltimore and i'm inclined to believe them it's a pretty big place um we just kind of hang out and had some uh had some board game fun will what did you think of the uh, first episode of pixel 8 it was pretty good i mean editing was a little sloppy but other than that it was pretty as good. always yeah i i was just so like we were trying to do like a home <laughs> movie aesthetic and we nailed it man we it's pretty nailed good. it it's great. Second episode may be up within the next couple weeks. That doesn't mean it's going to be a monthly show, but uh, we've already got it shot. It's an easy edit, so that should be up sometime the next couple weeks. And then uh, we got to figure out that third episode, buddy boy. Yeah, we do. <sighs> I'm tired. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Uh, that's going to do it for us here. Bye, Will. Bye. 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 Bye.